Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The next piece of power up is of course the knights. I'm known as knights, the protector of this corridor. If you seek to delve deeper into the dungeon, you need to defeat me. You may wager either 10 or 20 chips on our fights. Which I What's going on in the upper left corner? <laughs> Whichever amount you pay, a victory will get you double your wager. Ellery! <laughs> yeah, there's something bugging out here. Do you understand the rules? Would you like to challenge me? No. Ellery <laughs> What the? If you've made it this far, why wouldn't you want to fight? If you refuse to challenge me... Oh, gee, ma! You'll have to leave the dungeon. If you leave, you lose your progress. August 20 each. Okay, then. You want to fight, correct? Yes. <laughs> How many chips will you wager? I'm gonna do the maxes you save between battles anyway. I'll be saved between the battles because we're gonna battle all of them anyway, so might as well wager the max. So you're waging 20 chips. We'll use four prize cards then. Come on, let's battle! The primitive age deck is implying fossil Pokemon. And also, what is primitive is this music as it came from the first game. So it's kind of fitting. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's not that primitive when the timer was released, you know. <laughs> um, Dratini, I guess I'll lead with. Actually, it should have been, I guess I'll, I'll lead with Dratini, but... <laughs> anyway! I go first. I want to lead with Dratini because I can immediately start doing damage, so... like the I could lullaby with Jigglypuff, but it might not work, basically. And Pum. There we go. So even zero bench Pokemon in play. You might get, I was gonna say, you might get something on his first draw though. Oh, and me, oh, of course, Mysterious Fossil was in his hand. Yeah, you can't, you can't play that on the start of your turn. I mean, the start of the game, I should say. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't, like, it can't be counted as a basic, basic Pokemon, so yeah. Anyway, energy removal and Professor O. But I wanna kinda save those energy removals, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, Jigglypuff and then Pound. Because I, I I don't know if I'll get a Wigglytuff, but it would be kind of handy if I did. <laughs> you know? So this is kind of like a future prediction. Plus, it'll put it into Pound range if I just put one energy card on the side there. Energy removal. And... Uh... I guess I'll just go for the Professor Oak. I got other copies of those that I could trade for, and I can't really evolve them into play anyway. Just, did I just get kind of like a repeat hand? <laughs> well, I got the Professor Oak anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think... Yeah. How about we go... Pokemon Trader by trading Starmie in... For the Wiggly. You know how this goes. Plop that on there, get Jigglypuff on the bench, and Pollen. So we can basically switch to the Wigglytuff on the next turn, just finish all finish off that Charmander there if I wanted to. Which I may just do, but Ooh, not <laughs> getting all my Professor Oaks. Um... Now nah, you know what, maybe I will. I'll just go over to Wiggly. And then what I'll do... Wait, wait. Before, yeah. And Professor Oak. <laughs> wait, did, come to think of it, couldn't I have evolved... Didn't I have Dragonair in my opening hand, or was I not paying attention? Sometimes I do that, see if, if you didn't notice. <laughs> I guess I was, if I was playing, like, mega seriously, I, I wouldn't be so lack... Lack serious, but... <laughs> uh... Who, should, who else should I put on there? I guess the seal, probably. And do the wave. Finish off the Charmander. I actually think I'm in sweeping position right now, unless he manages to evolve something, because nothing's resistant to colorless Pokémon. So we can only just kind of nick away at Wigglytuff, but Wigglytuff is going to be doing 60. So... yeah! Hello. <laughs> yeah, this might end up being a pretty quick game, unless I give him a couple of turns, you know, like, messing around sort of turns. Uh, oh, by the way, Mysterious Fossil. 
It cannot be a sleep confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. So I should actually show that as long as I as long as I have the opportunity. Lullaby. No effect. <laughs> Alright, get yourself get yourself some Pokemon here. I, I I think I had too good of an opening hand. But yeah. Because I, I could have won last turn, you know that. We all know that. Uh, let's put this um this seal for the future. And done. <laughs> this is giving him a chance. Okay, fossil excavation. That could be a little bit helpful, because he might have two fossil Pokémon coming eventually? Maybe? Possibly? It's, it's very hard to make a fossil deck, in all honesty. Uh, I'll double color this for the Dragonair, but <laughs> it's kind of planning for the future. A Pokémon Trader. Probably should go Dratini into... I said, wait, did I? Are all my? Oh, I don't have. Did I lose? Did I discard all my dugong? Or... <laughs> Maybe I did and wasn't paying attention. Anyway, that's good to know then. If I did, so I guess I'll go for Lapras instead. <laughs> it's, it's the easiest to go by, and end the turn. I'll see what he makes with this. Now, oh, eventually. And double colorless, Dragonair, done. <laughs> Could very well be in prize cards, but actually you know what? I can I can confirm this. Discard pile. Dugong. No, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the other one is in my prize cards then. Okay. I, I didn't think I discarded both of them. <laughs> Man, you are in a very difficult position, aren't you? Done. <laughs> Uh, oh, and by the way, you know if I knock out the Mysterious Fossil, it won't count as a prize card draw or anything like that? It's just... it's just a thing of that... I, wait, did that did that Mysterious Fossil just change at the bottom there and just add UR at the bottom? I, 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 I didn't just see things there, did I? <laughs> did that happen before? <laughs> What's going on with the text? <laughs> anyway, maybe if we have this duel go on long enough, everything will glitch into oblivion! <laughs> um... I mean, yeah, I could've, could've won 80 times over by now. <laughs> Just knock out one of them. Put out the Charmander. And... Grab my prize card, I suppose. Oh, oh, I can't! Like, oh! <laughs> As I say, I can't grab... Can't grab with the Defender on that. Um, yeah, I go for the Lapras. Do the way we'll do 40, but still pretty respectable. Come on, evolve with, evolve with the fossils, man. <laughs> All you're doing is bolstering your side with mysterious fossils. Oh, oh, it just changed again. I just seen that. It's like when I went over to the second page. Maybe that's why I missed it the first time, is because I was clicking through it really quickly. Uh, uh, Alright, let's wave. <laughs> I don't know how much easier I could go on him with this deck. Everything I have is an ace. <laughs> uh, water. Jiggly. I, I guess I could attack. <laughs> it doesn't much matter, I'm not gonna get the prize card. And he's gonna probably evolve one of them eventually, and they're all mysterious fossils, so... There you go! Wave. I mean, yeah, if I knock out the last one, I'll be, you know, just be an automatic knockout because there's no Pokémon in play. And Fossil Excavation to bring back another mysterious fossil, but it's not... He's not getting any of the fossils to go with that! This is... This is something. This is... I got energy removal. This is definitely something. So even if he gets something, I could just energy removal that right away, but might as well just keep knocking out those fossils, I suppose. <laughs> Evolve! <so> <laughs> you play something. Um, I might as well for fun, I guess. Not that this duel hasn't been fun in general. 
Alright, I'll lullaby for fun, but this... I don't know. <laughs> it's just because. jeez. Uh, Let's have a sing... sing-off at the end of the game. Lullaby! Maybe I'll get something to battle me in vocals. Seriously? What the... Are you, are you sure you have a deck? <laughs> are you sure? It's, it's like... I, I knocked out three Pokémon and... Okay, okay, there we go. I don't know, I, I don't think I can go and watch easy. <laughs> Just do it away. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, alright. I just... I don't know, I'm just trying to see as much of his deck as I possibly can, basically, but... Not really much more that I can do here. <laughs> it's just... All the things are rolling, and I mean, I mean look, look at this, I even got the energy removal. It's all just... ready to go. <laughs> and I did the wave! Maybe I'll be able to get something for the bench and... Oh, well, there we go, there we go! And maybe you can switch to it. Okay, there we go! He's got something here, just switch. Yes! That's the play of champions! I, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage him here. <laughs> actually, I don't, don't want to waste the double colorless. Uh, actually... <laughs> I... <laughs> I've been stalling so many turns just to see his deck that we're not... Like, everyone's powered up! <laughs> and it's... Just... just end it. <laughs> there's nothing more I can do for him! There's nothing more I can do, and there's that dugong. Yeah, as I said, it's hard to make a mysterious fossil deck, but at the same time, I, I think he needs more basic Pokémon or something. <laughs> Congratulations, here your chips winning! Yay! Can you finally retire? I would like to advance steeper, if you don't mind. Now I shall open the doors. There we are, please proceed to the next room. And the next piece of power up above the knight is a love bishop! Although, in some peace power chart dealios, the bishop is ranked equal to the knight, but that's kind of imprecise. Generally, the bishop has a little bit more power because it can move a little bit further, even though that the knight and bishop both have very similar attacking patterns. But anyway, enough to chess talk here. I'm going to save my game before the duels, as I said, save before each of these duels, just in case things go south. Yeah, because you don't want to rest restart these from the very beginning, and yeah, it's just, just for the sake of convenience, you can see all the duelists, and, you know, you can get all the chips you want. <laughs> I'm the powerful bishop! I am renowned the world over! If you think you can compare it to my might, bet me 10 or 30 chips! If... A gray four totes. A gray 40 d if you weren't victorious, it wouldn't a greater sum of chips back, so I guess that glitchy text is just going to continue on. If you wager 30 chips, you win 60. That is my decree. Choose now, will you try and find mites? Keto, 40 do! Um... Well, what if I say no? You don't want to battle? You don't wanna not seek to win more chips? No. So you will battle if they right. You, you'll tow a 40D. How many chips will you wager? I'll go with a maximum because I'm saving anyway. And... You're wagering 30 chips? Alright, let us begin! I have 10 Ds left. Wait, 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 I have R2, 10 DS left. And we'll do <laughs> for 40 pro <laughs> For 4 price cards at 40. I'm... <laughs> that tax is getting me into to the giggly states, anyway. Texture Tuner 7 deck, it's based around the Porygons, as you might have guessed with the texture and name, but we shall see how much of a difference that makes when I use colorless Pokémon. Uh, I mean, at the very least, I'm going to start with Staryu, because I can start slapping away, and yeah. So, four prize cards! I go first, I shall get some slap- ooh! Oh yeah, you got Scyther too, you got other basics! Mmm, mmm, let's slap. <laughs> and you might very well be able to Swords Dance into a uh, dub uh, double slash, possibly, maybe, I don't know, he has double colorless in his hand? I guess we'll see, but at the very least, we have a 
dragon air that we can do on the side here, so let's slap in the meantime. And hope he won't be able to knock out Staryu that quickly. And... Ah, oh, he does! <laughs> That's okay, so... Now I just gotta do 30 to Scyther. Uh, what? Well, I'll go Lapras, actually. Because it's gonna take two attacks to knock it out anyway. So we're gonna go just Water Gun at first. He's gonna probably go for the Slash right away. Or maybe he'll retreat into something. Possibly, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. At, but at the very least, Lapras can handle whatever he's putting out, so I think we are fine in that regard. And there is the 30, so now I can do 10 more with an extra water energy and the knockout that Scyther. Now he's probably going to do some water resistance with Porygon, so hence the colorless plan. Oh, or not. Let's do Venonat. Alright. I'm not too sure of that move, but okay. Wait, actually, what do you have in play? I wasn't paying much attention. Okay, there's a there's a Porygon, but... <laughs> I'm used to him having a lot of Porygon. I guess that's why I'm playing the way I'm playing. <laughs> Except I should be looking at his side of the field. And... No paralysis for you. Uh, okay, so... Another Scyther. Got that other Venonat, and yeah, that the conversion too is the resistance thing that he's probably going to be going for. Uh, but I am going to definitely focus on the Dragonair and Water Gun the Venonat. It'll take two attacks to knock it out. Might switch. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, Zubat can cause confusion, which could be a little bit of an issue, but we'll see. And heals a little bit. That's okay, because I have the water and double colorless for the Dragonair, but I wouldn't tell him that. Well, I almost selected Confuse Ray there for some reason. Because this is like, I automatically press down for the more powerful of the two attacks, like by reflex. And Super Energy Removal! That will be handy. Oh! Wait, wait, actually, wait a second. That might have been a bad move. Oh, wait, oh maybe not. I was going to say, because this Golbat requires three energy to attack. But yeah, you had another double colorless surprise for me. Alright, let's go Dragonair. And look who else has a double colorless surprise. Uh, I wonder if I sh like, I don't know if he has another double colorless. But he probably doesn't. So I'm just going to go Hyper Beam and wipe out that double colorless rather than use the super energy removal for both. It might be a slight bit riskier, but he already used two... Yeah, there we go. As I say, he already used both double colorless... Uh, uh, I mean, two of the four that he can have in his deck, excuse me, so I figured that pr he probably doesn't have another one. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and Hyper Beam, and that turned out to be the good prediction, possibly. And I don't know why he's attaching energy to Golbat, considering that I'm just going to keep sucking it away, you know? Um, I'll save the Super Energy Removal for... The impending switching, and well, you know, when it gets two energy cards, you have the Venonat, and then that will probably be game. <laughs> probably, oh, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> nah, yeah, I know it, it requires three for the and oh, wait, oh, wait, why don't why didn't you use the tornado gust? Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, why wouldn't you force me to switch? Or is it because... Yeah, that, that seems like you should be using... Uh, yeah, I was thinking of the Rainbow Powder, but yeah, Tornado Gust uses just two. Hmm... Interesting... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Stick with my plan, and... I could potentially win the game right here, if I get two heads. Nope. And no! <laughs> this is why I don't do coin flip moves! <laughs> Alright, oh well. Alright, let's go for that. And. I guess. Try it again. Oh, come on, really? Okay, I got there. <laughs> it's like 50% chance. It's gonna. I mean, excuse me, 25% chance is gonna do. No damage. The same for doing 60 damage. But most of the time, it's going to be doing 
uh, the 30 damage like that. That's like, it's like, eh, I'll do two, two slams. It should work out. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, 3D effect fanciness. So yeah, as you can tell with Porygon, it's just not really the most powerful of things. He has cool Porygon in there as well, which is probably the best Porygon he's got. The track, I think it's the best Porygon in the game, I would say. And it doesn't count as, like, Porygon of the same name. Like, Hungry Snorlax is not Snorlax, so you could have four Hungry Snorlax and four Snorlax, just like you could have three cool Porygon and three regular named Porygon. Uh, so that's kind of how he's got the, his deck theme going on here, so that you can have so many Porygon. But he's strangely not drawing that many... I mean, he, yeah, he has the two, but... I think we would have gotten more. As I said, I'm used to battling Porygon with this guy. <laughs> um... I probably should just dump out my hand of everything in Professor Oak. Because that'll give me more options, and I'm all set up. Even though I don't have the energy set up for them, I will get the energy... Ooh, energy removal! I will get the energy when I use Professor Oak. At least, usually I will. Very, very high chance of getting it, so let's put it that way. Just fill up everything, basically. And I go for the Hyper Beam, because I know I'm at least doing, yeah. I don't know why I use the energy removal. <laughs> I just, I had it, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! I can't Hyper Beam, but, well, that's actually okay. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Let me just hope for a head flip. One hit will do, thank you very much, and that is the game. No match for the Stop It deck. Well, he's using Porygon, so what else can you expect? <laughs> You're the winner! As promised, here are your chips. I got 60 DS! Woo! As I'm defeated, now let's open the door onward. Will you continue? Yes, behold, the door is open on my goal! Yeah! Oh, wait, he's not screaming it. Okay. Now continue your journey, and that I will do in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go up to the next piece in power on the chessboard. Do you know what it is? I do.